while we on the subject of football, man, have have y'all have you guys been abreast to the Deshaun Jackson situation? Sort of, kind of, man. We, me and you were talking about it, man. We kept getting interrupted, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, uh, Deshaun Jackson decided that he was going to educate. I say educate because these are his words. He was up, uplifting, paraphrasing. He was uplifting his um, black community, which I have no problem with that if that's what you're really doing. Well, the problem is, in his attempt to uplift the black community and his black people, he retweeted a <laughs> he retweeted a post that, first and foremost, is not true. Okay, and then it was a quote from Hitler. So, what he was trying to do, and I'm just speaking for what he has said since then, he has said that he was trying to take parts out of that speech and use them to uplift his community. Well, the problem is, <laughs> the problem is, what the message was saying was straight anti-Semitism, man. It was basically bashing the Jews and saying how the Jews were, you know, um, they have this plot for world domination and that they're, you know, once the Negroes, it said once the Negroes find out about this plot, that it ain't going to go through. And, it, you know, it, it's, it was just so crazy, but it just came off as a badge to the Jewish community, basically. And it was definitely anti-Semitic. And I just didn't understand where he was going with it. But my thing is, to say this quickly, this is a prime example of being careful of hitting that sin button. Be careful before you hit sin because you cannot get it back. And you hit sin on something that you didn't do your research about. And we've had this discussion plenty of times uh, between the three of us, you know. And, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, just, just, you know, just, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> but, the, um, it, the, you know, just the overall thought of just sending something, and it might sound good to you in thought, but I think you always need to, to, to double check and backtrack. Me personally, I'm old enough and he's old enough to know, like, I'm not co-signing anything with Hitler's name attached to it, for one. You know, and I... The, and I don't care. I don't care because all, I can't give him a pass because even if you didn't know, let's just say he had no idea who Hitler was, which I know that's far-fetched, but I'm saying even if you didn't know, it's your responsibility and your duty to do your homework to see, okay, who is this man that's quoting this? You know, and of course, you know, we all know who Hitler was and his background, and he was evil, man. So, he backtracked and, you know, he apologized several times that next day after he dropped that uh, tweet. And he said that's not what he was intending to do, that everybody took, they took uh, a message, they took an overall message when there was a certain message he was trying to convey out of the post. And I, I heard a lot of people saying, oh, well, where is the, 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 uh, the community that bashes every, you know, white player and blah, 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 that does this and nobody's bashing Deshaun Jackson because let's just call it what it is, bro. It is a form of racism. It, it is. Yeah. You know, y'all may disagree with me, but it, it is. When you are basically bashing another race, you know what I mean, and, or lowering another race, even in an, an attempt to prop up your race, bashing another one is not the way. That's a form of racism to me. But I just, I don't think Deshaun Jackson is an evil dude. I don't think he meant it that way. I just think he didn't do his homework. And it was one of those cases where I received something and it was, and you know what? The reason why I was, I really looked into it 
it was on the heels of that Farrakhan speech. I don't know if y'all looked at the Farrakhan speech on the 4th of July. And on the heels of that, he was probably oh, yeah, feeling motivated. Sorry. Yeah, he was feeling motivated by the Farrakhan speech. And so he was like, okay, yeah, I'm a, you know, and he probably got that tweet. Somebody tweeted it to him and he retweeted it, not really getting the message, you know? So. I just, yeah, let me just touch on the quick, not nah, because I, I don't have much to say on it, then I'll let Chuck talk. So my thing is with Deshaun Jackson, hey, as far as him being a player, Shut up, Chuck. <laughs> as far as him being a player, I've always been a fan of him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, injuries has caused him to, you know, flourish and, you know, but that's needed to say there. But when it comes to his actions, as far as the things, it's kind of going back to what you said, Tone. He, he, he doesn't really – he doesn't really look at the bigger picture of things before he do it. Or, yeah. you know what I'm saying, so to say. And, and just by me briefing through this, you know what I'm saying, just let me know, like, okay, well, this is another case of somebody trying to, you know what I'm saying, do right, mm -hmm. but still not do their, their homework. Because it, like I said, because something like this, like I said, because, yes, of course, our culture you know what I'm saying? As far as black, our black culture, you know, however you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, is 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 to me is is, is at our peak right now as far as getting what's what's right to us. But you still gotta have respect for other cultures, especially if you want to speak on it. You gotta make sure that you have the the knowledge of it. You know what I'm saying? Just like you, how you were saying. You know right. what I'm saying? And I, I I like it that you you still have players. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I want that right about the NFL. You know what I'm saying? You, you, it's, it's, even if you're not on the same team because you're going at it every week, you know what I'm saying? You're knocking each other's heads off. It's still a good community of players. Yeah, Julie the culture Adam, is good. Right. Julie Edelman spoke up on him. You know what I'm saying? Said, I talked to him. Pretty yeah. much saying, like, I, I know what I'm saying? I, I, I educated him. Like, but yeah, I was he there. Said he wanted to educate you know him. Right. I, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so even with a repost on something, it's, you pretty much might as well say it out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I don't even feel bad that the, the Eagles has took in the actions that they did on them because, hey, you got to learn your lesson. And, and, and all the players in this league should know, Deshaun Jackson should know that, okay, well, you know what I'm saying? The action that you take, especially if you not knowing the full extent or the consequence of it, could cause some, some harm to yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It. So that, no, 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 I just wanted to point, put something out there real quick. <clears throat> and with what you were saying as far as the players coming, I was glad that Malcolm Jenkins stepped up, said he was wrong. Julian Edelman said, I'm willing to educate him, you know, and talk to him. You know, these are players that's Jewish. This is a point that I didn't mention that I wanted to point out there on not doing your homework. <laughs> yep. People probably don't don't understand. I've been a fan of Deshaun Jackson. I've had his jerseys. I bought me and my son a Deshaun Jackson jersey years ago. Oh yeah, I knew you've been a fan of. Yeah, he left the Eagles, and you know who brought him back to the organization is Jewish owners. So wow. that is something that you know what I'm saying. So you got to understand how you're rubbing them the wrong way. Like, but what he's lucky about is when Riley Cooper was. Uh, caught at that, I think it was Kenny Chesney, whatever concert it was, um, uh, rock and roll concert, whatever, or, or country concert. He was out there saying, nigga this, nigga that, and nigga this, and they didn't kick him off the team. That actually worked in Deshaun's favor because now they couldn't possibly kick him off the team being that they did oh, that yeah. to Riley Cooper. And then Riley Cooper got an extension after that. You know, So we don't want to forget about that. CeeLo, go ahead, get a word in, bro. I'm sorry. You want to close it out? Yeah, you can close it out, bro. Close it out. Uh, hey, I'm take as much time I'm as you want. I'm actually finna close this one out, man. Uh, I got to say, as far as the sign of Jackson, he probably was ignorant. I'm going to call it ignorant. That, that, don't know that's it. what it was. Yeah, yeah. ignorant. I agree and, with you. And me, me and myself is ignorant. I had an uh, ignorant conversation about Jewish folks. I'm going to say Jewish folks because I don't – that 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 other term is uh, derogatory. That's what I got learned on that. But your uh, – I still want to support him, man. I'm supporting everybody black right now, except for your boy Terry Crews. Come on, <laughs> we are. Hey, 
Hey, you can close it on that one. Hey, I got some worse for Terry, bro. I got some worse for Terry. I got some worse. Terry, man. Terry, man. Man, fuck Terry Crews. <laughs> I, 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 actually, I actually like the dude, man, but somebody need to take his phone away, dog. Fuck Terry Crews. If they do that, he'll be good. Yeah. He'll be the dude, man. Take the fucking phone away. This yeah. white need to step hey, in, man. This steroids get to that nigga head. She, but she's not the one that's telling him to do it. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. Yeah, I don't know if you're on the road. Triple, man. Shot time. Shot time, hey. <laughs> This how we go close. This how we go close it out, man. I'm closing out. I thought I closed it, man. Yeah, no, no, you did. I'm talking about for the shot, man. Yeah, man. You know, it's just hard to close that involving dope. <laughs> this is like that one at Burlington. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, that shot it. Shout out to my man. I'm with you, though. I'm still going to support it, Sean. I just think he made a mistake. It's no different from what I said with Drew Brees. I think Drew Brees made a mistake. I know what Drew Brees do in the community in New Orleans. They do huge. So, I knew he did. Yo, 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 think he made a mistake. He did make a mistake, man. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying my opinion. I, I know he made a mistake. And they both made a mistake. And, you know, but this is the culture we in. We in cancel culture, you know. As soon as they find yeah. something that they can pick apart on one of us, you know, they're going to cancel us, too. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can't just judge people off off one mistake. You know, he just didn't do his homework. He he we've seen that before. It's ooh, retweet. You know what I'm saying? He thought he got some knowledge. Somebody was kicking knowledge and he came off of the fair kind of speech, so he thought he'd retweet it. And it was a terrible thought. But I'm yeah, not gonna say you gotta bag bag your ass up a bit off of being first, man. First to post Yeah, up, man. I'm trying to be first, man. Yep. Be yeah. be right. Don't be first, be right, man. And we're going to close it out with that. Ladies Free Before 11 podcast. I'm Tone closing it out for CeeLo and JP. And I've been working on my outro. Hey, my outro hey, game is getting right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey.